All right, welcome to your practice. We'll, uh, we'll start by checking in, some breathing, and we'll get into our movement. Release tension, bring ease to the body, relax the nervous system. We'll start by taking some inhales and exhale through the nose. Notice the parts of your body that are moving when you breathe. Take notice of any areas that are tight, a little stiff, maybe some discomfort. Start to turn the whole of your attention to feeling, to the sensations of the body. Gently start to move the neck side to side. Bring out the sensation and just observe. Maybe turn the neck side to side so it's a tilt. Move your left shoulder. Become aware of a sensation. Other shoulder. Become aware of a sensation. Good. Turn one hand behind you, one hand in front, and just make a twist. And turn the other. Let's go back and forth. Just Nice and gentle, nice and slow, about two or three times, just turning and turning. And notice the parts of the body that feel active. Notice what turns, what muscles engage, what muscles relax. Building a conscious awareness of the movement. Now you're gonna come back to center. You're gonna kind of make swirls like you had a hula hoop around your ribs. You wanted to swirl your ribs around the edge of the hula hoop. Let's just do a couple rounds like that. Swirl the ribs as though they were inside of a hula hoop. Try to feel the muscles waking up and then reverse the swirl. Come back to center. Focus on the pelvis. Think of it like a bowl. You tip the bowl forward and start to tip the bowl back. See how it affects the low back and the belly muscles. Tipping the bowl forward, tipping the bowl back. Back and forth a couple more. Good, now let's make a swirl like you're rotating the bowl. Well, the ribs will kind of move too, but you're focusing on the hips now. Warming up the body. Good. Let's go ahead and lay on our backs. When you lay on your backs, put your hands and your feet in the air. Like a dead bug. <laughs> and just shake your hand a little bit and shake your ankles. Notice the sensations. I'm filming you all just so you know. <laughs> just kidding. Go rest your feet on the floor. Swoop your arms way up overhead. 
like you're making your, like you're drawing a rainbow. Yeah, and then go up to the sky and then down by your hips. And then go up to the sky and overhead behind you. Not left to right, Billy, but up and back. There you go. Up to the sky and then down by your hips. You're going left to right, Billy. Up to the sky and then over your head. There you go. Up to the sky, down by the hips. Good, now focus, try to really feel what's moving. Try to feel the arm bone rotating inside the shoulder and see if the shoulder blades move at all. Up to the sky and then back. Up to the sky and then forward. Try to feel the mechanics of the movement. Inhale, exhale. Good, now bring them up to the sky again. Squeeze your palms together over your chest. Good, and try to reach your fingertips up to the sky, arms straight. Yeah, reach your fingertips straight up to the sky and see if you can feel your shoulder blades get wider apart by reaching up with your arms. Now listen carefully, still squeezing your hands together in your mind, pull your arms apart like you're gonna make a T shape on the floor and squeeze your upper and middle back towards each other. So instead of the shoulder blades going apart, they're going towards each other. Good, so your arms might come all the way down to the floor. You're making a capital T shape that fell over. Good, try it again. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky and point with your hands up. So your shoulder blades broaden on your back. And now pull your shoulder blades together on your back as you take your arms wider apart to the floor. Two more times, just reach the arms up. And if you don't want, if you want to keep your hands in the air, you can pull your arms down like this, where just your elbows touch the floor and your hands are still in the air. When you just touch the floor with your elbows, push your elbows down into the floor and squeeze those back muscles to bring the shoulder blades in. Let's do that three more times. You're gonna reach up and broaden your shoulder blades. Then pull back and down to tone the shoulder blades into the back, into the spine. Up and away, down and in. Up and away, down and in. Up and away, down and in. Good. Put your arms wherever you kind of feel comfortable with them and lift your um, left leg up into the air like you're trying to balance a ball on your sole of your foot. Good. Push the ball towards the ceiling without letting your hips come off the ground. And relax. Try to get a ball, imaginary ball to balance on your right foot. And push the ball towards the ceiling. And down. Good, place the bottoms of the feet together and let the knees drop open. Keep the knees open. Let's reach our right hand up to the ceiling and then reach your right hand all the way to the left, so your left, um, your right shoulder comes off the mat. Come back up. Reach your left hand all the way to the ceiling, and then take that hand all the way over to the right, so the left shoulder comes up. Back to center. Bring the knees back up. Pull your right knee into your chest. 
squeeze it against the body. Keep that and slide your left heel out along the floor until your leg is straight. Draw a circle with your right knee. A couple more. Try to feel all the muscle joints, bone that are engaging this movement. Let's reverse the direction of that circle. Good. Both feet on the floor and pull your left foot, left knee, sorry, into the body. Straighten the right leg and draw a circle with your left knee. Reverse the circle. Bring both knees into the body, one hand on each knee. Rest your feet on the floor and push your feet down into the floor. Lift your hips up, bridge pose. We'll do three more of those, hips down. Inhale, push with your feet, stretch the back of your neck, hips up, bridge pose. Exhale down. Inhale, hips up. Down. Last one, up. And down. Good. Drop both knees over to your right. And turn your gaze to your left. Drop both knees to the other direction to your left, and gaze to your right. Back up to center. Gently curl your forehead and shoulders off the mat so you're looking at your knees. Feel the abdomen toning and engaging and hold it, but keep breathing. And rest back down. One more time, forehead and shoulders curl off the mat. And this time lift your feet, hover your feet off the mat. You can keep your knees bent. Breathe. Feel the muscles that are waking up. And relax down. Last round, curl up. Float the feet up, a little higher this time maybe. Good, rock back and rock up to a comfortable seat. Place your hands at the front of your mat and transition to tabletop pose. Find the rib cage again. You can put your hands on blocks, get a little more space if you'd like. 
Lift your rib cage up, move it over, and then swoop it down. Make a whole circle with your rib cage. Do three more in that direction. Move and breathe. Just keep waking up the muscles right now. Nothing too complicated. Waking up mobility. Good. Reverse the movement. It's one full breath for one full circle. Back to center. Stretch back through your left foot. Stretch forward through your nose. Push through your left foot. Squeeze the left kneecap, waking up the quadricep. Good. Back to kneeling. Extend the right leg back, pushing through the right foot. Extend the nose in the opposite direction. Squeeze the kneecap. Back. One more time. First side. And then reach with the left leg back, right hand forward with the nose. Back. Right leg back, left fingertips forward. Good. Come down to your forearms. On your forearms, try to melt the middle part of your back in between your shoulders so your front ribs got closer to the floor. And then do the opposite. Push the floor down with your arms so your ribs lift up and broaden your shoulder blades on your back. Let's just go back and forth three times. Try to sink your rib cage as low and through your shoulder blades as you can. And then up and back. And then sink. Up and back. And then sink. Up and back, and then sink. Good. Walk the knees back a little further until you feel your core engage. Hold it for three breath counts. And then drop your hips into the floor. Reach forward with your heart and your gaze. Push down through the elbows, to create some stability. Good, now pull, don't just push the elbows down, but pull the elbows back towards you so it brings the heart more forward and squeezes the tips of your shoulder blades, the bottom tips of your shoulder blades towards one another. Good, walk the hands out, but not all the way out, so that there's a little bit of an angle. Notice how my shoulders are still higher up. If I keep walking out, my head goes to the ground. Good, push down with your hands, and then instead of pushing forward today, pull back like you're drawing your arm bones into your shoulder sockets. And as you draw your arm bones into your shoulder sockets, feel the bottom tips of the shoulder blades squeeze in. Use that to bring the heart forward. Good, relax down, turn your cheek to one side and rest. Just enjoy being with the body, experiencing 
the sensations. Take the hands a little wider, wider than shoulders distance apart. Push down on the floor until your arms become straight. If that hurts your back, just bring your hands a little further forward so it's not as much of a back bend. When you push the floor down, draw, kind of pull the floor towards you so your arm bones are drawn into your shoulders. When you draw your arm bones into your shoulders, draw your shoulders into your spine. Breathe here. Rest and turn your cheek to the other side. Bend your left foot, or left knee, I guess, and hold your right, I'm sorry, oh my gosh. Bend your left knee and hold your left foot. <laughs> if you can, walk your right arm all the way across your body so you get a outer right shoulder stretch. You can copy me. Yeah. Walk the arm all the way across. Good, pull the foot in. And release. Walk the left arm across the body so you get an outer shoulder stretch. You can kind of put the arm even under your chest a little bit and hold the right foot with the right hand. And release. Press up and push back. Child pose. Good. In child's pose, let's come out of the child's pose a little bit to start. And just bring your belly, low belly muscles in slightly. As you bring your low belly muscles in slightly, Feel how it turns the sit bones downward. And then start to walk the hands back. So you're opening your low back as you sit back. So the sit bones are more under you than pointing back behind you. Good, breathe into the fullness of your back. And come back up. Tuck your toes. So you can do this at the wall. Tuck your toes and lift your knees up and wide apart. You can have your feet turned out slightly. So it's like a frog that, could, that was swimming. You're bending your knees out. It's like a squat that fell forward. Keep your knees bent. Just hold yourself up with your body, with your arms and your bent legs. Get a little lower, bend your knees a little deeper. Good, push with your legs and then bend again. Hold it, stay with it. 
push with your legs and then bend again and come back down to kneeling. Toes tucked this time. That means the pads of the foot are down. Bring your low belly muscles in so your low back gets longer and your sit bones uh, trend down towards the heels. Walk the hands back as you sit the hips back slow. Breathing into the fullness of the low back. Good, back in front with the hands, toes tucked, lift the legs up, hold it for five breath counts, knees are bent. Good, back down, rest. So you can come back to the mat now, we'll be here for another second. Take the left knee forward and the foot across, early pigeon pose. You can, when you do pigeon early, you, it, make it more narrow, meaning the knees are more in the middle of the line of the mat. Find where the outer hip finds its stretch and just be there for a moment. And gently rock the hips side to side. Making the movement conscious. Change legs. Rock the hips side to side. Excellent. Come to a forward, standing forward fold on your yoga mat. Have your feet about as wide as your yoga mat in that forward fold and hang your spine. Relax and breathe. Just stay with the sensation. Good, push down through your sit bones. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring your arms up like you're a field goal post. Pull, look first at your elbow and your hand. Make sure they're vertical. You're gonna pull your elbow and hand back at the same rate. So it stays vertical. We're not leading with the elbow. We're not leading with the elbow and we're not leading with the fingertips. The whole thing moves back and the shoulder and elbow are the same height, if you can. A little lower, that's fine. But if you go lower, you're gonna take your hands wider. Okay, here we go. Take a deep breath, pull back. Notice what you feel. Where is the sensation? And then relax. We'll do that two more times. Let's be just right now, just be mindful of what you feel. Pull back. Where is the sensation? And relax. Last one. Pull back. and relax. Okay, if you felt sensation here, like there was a stretching, that's because the muscles are, are weaker and are moving forward as the back muscles don't tone. So what we're gonna work on, you should feel some stretch here as well, or some toning there. You're gonna hold your arms up. 
and you're going to consciously think, don't move my ribs. Keep the ribs steady. And then squeeze, so you're engaging just the muscles. And try to squeeze the under parts of your shoulders. And relax. Good. Take your hands under your ribs like this. So if you drew a line, if you drew a line across the back, it's this. This is where you're squeezing from. Okay? This is how you tone the lower shoulders. You squeeze from here. This is what moves back from this area, this height, not up here. Okay, let's try it again. Arms up. Don't move the ribs. That's a key. Don't move the ribs. And draw back from the under rib. Good. Keep that. And now try to slide your arms up behind you, slow, and relax. Good. If you have a wall, you can try this on the wall. You're actually going to start about a half inch away from the wall, or like maybe even three inches away from the wall if you can, so that when you draw back, you touch the wall. Okay? Arms up. Draw back, if you're using the wall, you'll touch the wall. And now, when you slide your arms up, you'll slide your arms up the wall. If you're not using a wall, you're using an imaginary, the wall of, the wall of your mind. Keep extending, maybe those elbows will get straight, maybe not, that's okay. And relax down. Good. Release the upper back into a forward bend. Inhale back up. Excellent job. Step your um, right foot back about three and a half feet. You're going to bend your knees and let your arms hang. Bend both knees. And then inhale, swoop the arms up. Turn your body to face the front of the room. And as you bend your front knee, warrior one, bring your arms down into a field goal pose. Good. Inhale, straighten both legs and slide the arms up an imaginary wall. Good, bend both knees, drop your hands down. Inhale, swoop the arms up. And as you bend your front knee, pull the arms down. As you straighten the front leg, pull the arms back and reach them up to the sky. So it's that same exercise we just practiced, we're just adding some warrior movements. Bend both knees, drop your arms down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Pull the arms down as you bend the front knee. Warrior one pose, you know this one. Extend the legs, pulling the arms back, reach the arms up high. The same action you did with the wall. Drop the hands down, one more round. Inhale, arms up. Bend the front knee, warrior one, as you pull the arms down. Reach the arms up, legs straight, and pull the belly muscles in. Don't let those ribs pop forward. And step to mountain pose at the front of your mat. Hang your upper back. Release the tension from the pose. Good, coming back up. Go ahead, step your left foot back. Bend both knees, hang the arms. Inhale, swoop the arms up. 
Bend the front knee as you pull the arms down. Those ribs are gonna to wanna to pop forward. Tone that core. That's what we did that warm up for. Straighten the legs, pulling the arms back as you reach them up. The same sequence, we're just doing the second side. Drop the arms down, bending both knees. Inhale, both arms up. Warrior one legs, pull the arms down. Straighten the legs, arms back, arms up. Drop it on down, both knees bend. Swoop the arms. Warrior one with field goal arms. Legs straight, pull the arms back up the wall. Drop the hands down, bend both knees. Swoop it up, last one. Warrior one. Legs straight, arms back and up. Step to the front of your mat. Hang the forward fold. Good. Go ahead and step your right leg back again for the lunge leg so the heel be pointed up. We're going to move our hips for this one so you can use the blocks for a little more mobility. You're going to swoop your hips down and forward. That back knee can bend or bend to the floor or stay straight, but you drop your hips so much you can lift your gaze up. And now you're going to pull your chin down, push through your feet, making the legs a little straighter. Drop it down, swooping crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Swooping crescent. Exhale, pyramid. Swooping crescent. Exhale, pyramid. Swooping crescent. Exhale, pyramid. In the pyramid pose, you can bend your back knee a little bit today to get kind of like a runner stretch mixed with a pyramid. Inhale, swooping crescent. Exhale, pyramid. And switch legs. Okay, so the, it's really, you're really just making a circle with your hips. The hips swoop down. And then they lift up and back. Swoop the hips down, up and back. Swoop down, exhale, up and back. Inhale, swoop them down. Exhale, up and back, knee back, knee bends. Last round. And step to the front of your mat. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands to the heart. Turn the palms to face front. And extend your elbows straight. So you're squeezing the elbow straight. Now pull the arms into the body. If your palms are facing forward, you can't actually get the forearms to touch the body. You get the upper arm. It's called a carrying angle, like you, if you were carrying buckets. As you squeeze the arms in, now keep that and sort of gently wrap the thumb side of the hand further back. Remember that area we squeezed earlier of the mid back? Squeeze the mid back. Awesome. Put the left foot in front, right foot back. Squeeze the mid back and draw your fingertips towards your back heel. You can gaze upward. And relax. Same thing. 
arms, A shape, squeeze them in, step the left foot back, and wrap the arms back as you arc up and forward. And step forward. Good. Warrior two pose. Take a big step back with your right leg. Let's start with the leg straight. Left toes point forward. Right toes are on a 90 degree angle. And just make a little circle with your hips, trying to find the place that is most stable. Once you have found stable, bend your front knee over the heel. Breathe in the warrior two. Inhale, straighten both legs and slide the left hand down the front shin. Turn the body and practice the same pose we just did with your right arm. Squeeze the arm towards the body. Pull the arms back. You push your left hand against your shin, creating a gentle arch, squeezing those mid and upper back muscles inward. Open your throat, looking towards the front of your room and or at the ceiling. Inhale, come up. Good. So you could see how that triangle arm was basically this action that we just did, okay? Step the left foot back, warrior two legs. With the legs straight, just make a gentle circle and find the angle of your pelvis that feels the most stable. Bend your front knee. Come out of the pose. Slide the right hand down the shin and turn the left arm into that pose we had just done where you squeeze the upper arm against the body and now pull both arms back at the uh, base rib, mid rib area. Open the throat forward and or up. Inhale, back up, and step out of your posture. Good. Go into a wall if you'd like to use the wall. If you're going to use the wall, you're going to want to be on the, the left hand can touch the wall. With the left hand touching the wall, the left knee comes up, and you're going to try to hold the up the ankle with the opposite hand. Good. You can hold over the front or you can hold under. If you can hold under, it's a little easier then to lift the ankle. So you're lifting your left ankle up towards your right shoulder. Like you're doing a bicep curl <laughs> with your right hand. Good. Now pull your shoulder blades back at the rib side, not the top of the shoulder. Good. See if you can get your heel to touch the front of your right hip crease. If you can, you can actually hook it there and let the knee drop open or down, I guess, if you knee drop down. If you can't, you just hold the foot still. If you've got the foot hooked, lift your arms up to the sky. 
and squeeze your upper back. Think of yourself like a soaring bird. Open your arms out wide. And relax. Awesome. If you're using the wall, you'll spin around so your right hand can hold the wall. Bend the right knee up and try to hold the ankle. If you can, you hold it from the underside, like it, so it's like you're gonna do a bicep curl. Engage. Breathing here. Right hand could be on the wall. Pull the right heel, if you can, to touch the left hip crease. And if you can get it there, you might be able to wedge it in or hook it in a way where you can actually let go with both hands. If not, that's fine too. You hold on with that one hand. The knee will drop down. Then open your arms like you were a soaring bird, squeezing your upper back muscles. If you're holding the wall, you just walk your hand up the wall. And you open the heart forward. Good, relax. Okay, so the action we're trying to cultivate now is to keep these ribs in, and it's like you're diving or flying forward. These are the soaring wings. So what you're gonna do is, you, if you have a doorway, you're gonna go to a doorway, and you're gonna put your hands really wide on the door so that you can soar through the doorway. If you don't have a doorway, you're gonna put your hands nice and wide on a wall. And so you can see in the demonstration, my hand that's in wide on the wall, I can back my feet up and I'm opening. You want to go really wide with the hands so that you can melt your ribs down and through your shoulder blades. Much wider than a, a downward dog stance. The wider the better. Good. Now don't let your shoulder joint pop forward. It's the muscles of your back that draw in and it's like your heart and your arms are like the uh, book, the, the book, a hardcover book binding is opening up and the spine of the book is going forward. That's the front of your body. That looks good. Feel that feeling there. Toning the back and letting that front area just open like a storybook. Great, come back up. Let's try that same thing again in the balancing pose. So if that was too hard for you to hook your ankle, you'll just do tree this time, okay? You'll just do tree and put the foot against the thigh or even put the toe on the floor with the knee turned out. All right, so choose your, your shape that's gonna work for your body in the legs. And if you're gonna need the wall, you're gonna put the wall on the side so that you can lean forward. Actually, you probably face the wall, I guess, but if the, it's on your um, one side of your body, so your hand can slide back on the wall. Okay, here we go. Arms up. Tone the muscles like you're diving and soaring forward. Good. Breathe here. Level two, go up on tippy toe of your standing leg. And come back. Second side. Diving, we'll call it soaring butterfly. That's what this pose has been called. Soaring butterfly awesome. Be mindful of all the body sensations. And relax. Slide the hands down the legs. 
and read. Inhale, come back up. Squeeze your left arm across your body. Lift up through the core of your spine and the core of your ribs and turn to the left with your gaze. Like the core of your spine was turning to the left into the shoulder. Relax, other arm, squeeze the right arm against the body. Turn the core of your spine like it was a barrel and spiral it. So you'll really see the neck and head move to the right. Back to center. Good. If you can, you'll scoop both arms. So let's do the left elbow under and the left knee over. You can put your foot on the floor or you can put your foot on a block so that you can squeeze your knees past each other. Good. Pull your arm elbows past each other to really open up your back. We want to counter what we did. We want to open the back of the shoulder blades now and then turn your gaze one way. Release the neck. Keep squeezing, friends, and turn your gaze the other way. And then release back. Right elbow under, right knee over. And you want to squeeze the knees past each other, and you want to squeeze the elbows past each other. Opening the back. Then turn the gaze one way. Turn the gaze another. Come back to center. And release. Very good. Come down to kneeling. We're going to bring ourselves up high. So put the yoga blocks on high or you'll put your hands on your thighs if you don't have blocks. And you'll have the hands closer than usual, so only about a foot and a half in front of the knee. Tuck the toes. You're still going to send your sit bones down towards the heels. But then, listen carefully, push, push the blocks down with the heel of your hands. So it sends the tips of your shoulder blades down and in. Good, as you send the tips of your shoulder blades down and in, pull your chest, throat, and chin forward and up. Breathe. And for fun, this is called lion pose, simhasana. You're gonna stick out your tongue, cross your eyes if you can, and go. <sighs> and 
and relax. Point the toe, let your head grow heavy. One more, Simhasana. Tuck the toes. Send the sit bones down toward the heel. Push the heel of the hands down into the floor or in the blocks and pull the bottom tips of your shoulder blades down and in. When you do that, Peel the chest, throat, and chin forward and up. Deep breath in, tongue out, simhasana. And relax. Head hangs, toes point. Before we come down to a full seat, please go find yourself a belt or a yoga strap or a towel. I actually, a long sock would work fine too. Then you're going to take your right knee and hook it behind your left knee so your feet are split in a capital A shape. Then you'll sit down through your feet so your knees are stacked. If you need a cushion under you, that's fine. Your left knee should be on top. With your left knee on top, you're gonna reach your right arm straight up in the air with the strap. Then you're gonna wave at me with your left hand, reach it behind you, behind your back. Now lower, your lifted hand so you can hold the strap with both hands and walk the hands closer together. Try to bring your spine very upright and keep walking the hands a little bit closer, even if it's just an imaginary walking closer together. Close your eyes and try to make your spine perfectly vertical and not tilted or jutting out to one side. Gently turn your body like your spine was a barbershop pole. And then gently barbershop pole to the other direction. Good, now pull with the bottom hand. Pull down and draw your upper elbow, curl your back, because you're aiming your upper elbow for your knees. I hope it doesn't get there for your safety. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just feel, see what the pose brings out. Inhale, come out of the shape. Relax your arms. And change your legs.
stretch the left hand up with the strap. With the right, wave and bring it behind the back. Bend the top elbow so that hold the strap with both hands. Walk the hands together or toward each other. Close your eyes and make sure the spine isn't jutting out, especially that left rib side. Stay here, breathe, and maybe walk a little tighter with the hands. Barber shop the pole to the spine one way. And then the other. Back to center. Pull down with your right hand and curl the top elbow toward the knee. Inhale, back up, and relax. Release the legs. And lie on your back. Have your blocks nearby if you can. Lift your hips up and put one or two blocks under your hips and rest them down. Open your hands out and try to release your shoulder blades away from your ears. Breathe and feel. Slow your breathing now. Try to lower your breathing in your body. Move the blocks, fully lift the hips, and lower down.
take the left knee over the right and drop the knees to the left. Feel. Allow the mind to learn how to just feel. Center and change the legs. Try to breathe into the back. Try to breathe low into the back. Back up. Place the bottoms of the feet together and let the knees drop open. If you can, you'll interlock the fingers behind the head, or you have them kind of open like you're moving towards that field goal post again. Gently lift and lower your chin, rotating the head in the hands until you find the ideal place for your neck. This is what feels best. Then turn your head left to right in that place. Back to center and just hold this shape a breath or two. Slide the feet out on the mat. Place the arms in a comfortable shape for resting.
Stretch your body. And then take a comfortable seat on your mat. Good to be with you all. Good to practice together. Namaste.